So we found some interesting bones in our collection and we have absolutely no idea what sort of animal these came from. So today, we're gonna to take a closer look and see if we can figure it out on this episode of Odd Animal Specimens. So here are the bones that we were able to find. Take a close look and let me know if you have any guesses. Put it in your head, remember that for later. I'll give you a close look at the skull because often that's very helpful. Here it is for the side. And then there it is from the top. Interesting. So a couple things right off the bat that are gonna help us out a lot. First, we have a vertebrae right here, so we know it's a vertebrae. When it comes to vertebrae, there are five basic classes. You have fish, amphibians, reptiles, mammals, and birds. Looking over here, I think it's very clear that we have evidence of some limbs. There's one over there, one over there. I'll show you one really close. This is obviously some sort of a foot or some sort of a leg, so that means we can pretty safely eliminate fish. But when it comes to the rest of them, what we're gonna do is take a look at something called an occipital condyle. That will help us determine if it's an amphibian, a reptile, or bird, or a mammal. So this is an occipital condyle. It's a rounded knob on the occipital bone that forms a joint with the first cervical vertebrae. It's the joint that connects your skull to your spine. This is a human skull, so it has two, one on the left and one on the right. Amphibians and mammals both have two occipital condyles. Reptiles and birds only have one. Take a look at this image. This shows what I'm talking about. The left is a raccoon, it has two, and the right is a bird, it only has one. This is what we're looking for. So we're gonna take a look at this skull. Ooh, we're gonna see what we get. And we're gonna throw it under a microscope, take a close look, and let me know what you can find. Here's our reference image to help you remember. Okay, here's our skull under the microscope. I think it's pretty clear that we have one on the left and one on the right, that's two occipital condyles. So, going back to our list, we can pretty safely say that this is not a reptile or a bird, because those both have one, this is a mammal or an amphibian. Interesting thing that distinguish amphibians and mammals when it comes to their skeleton, mammals have ribs, amphibians do not. When I look around here, I see no evidence of any sort of ribs or anything like that just some vertebrae that extend pretty far left and right on either side. That means we can eliminate mammals and we can confirm that what we have here is some kind of amphibian, but which one? So when you're splitting up amphibians, they group together in three orders. All amphibians are in one of these three. You have Cadata, which are salamanders, Gymnophiona, which are Sicilians, and Enora, which are frogs and toads. All of these have distinguishing features. Salamanders have tails, Sicilians don't have any limbs, and frogs and toads have no tails, but do have limbs. So let's look at what we're talking about here. Hmm, honestly, it's kind of hard to, to, to tell. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some time and loosely put this together and then see if we can eliminate any of those groups. Excellent, here's what we're looking at. First off, it has no tail, so we can pretty confidently eliminate salamanders. It has four limbs, so we can pretty confidently eliminate Sicilians. That means it's a frog and a toad, kind of obviously. It looks very frog and toadish, but which one is it? Well, something you can look at to compare frogs and toads are their back legs. Here we have what's clearly a frog. Their back legs are extremely long, almost longer than their head and body put together. Toads, on the other hand, have very short back legs. They're used for crawling and burrowing, things like that. So I guess I'm gonna kind of more tightly assemble this skeleton and then take the leg and see if I can kind of loosely measure it against the body and the head to see if the leg is longer than the body, which will mean it's a frog, or shorter than the body, which will mean it's a toad. So let's more closely assemble this skeleton. We'll use this back left leg for measurement. Let's see, we'll start there, it kind of goes to here, then they'll measure the next bone, kind of goes to here, the next one, kind of goes to here, and the final back foot goes to here. So, after doing a little bit of measuring, here's what we found. The leg is approximately this long, the body is only this long, the leg is longer than the body, so my friends, what we're working with is most likely a frog. But now, which kind? 
This is going to be extremely tricky. Well, first off, you need to remember, I'm from the United States. We're here in North America. This frog is extremely large. In fact, if I bring out this little measuring tape, it appears to be, let's do just the body. The body itself is around six inches long. This is huge for a North American frog. In fact, there are only two frogs that come remotely close to this length in the entire continent. That is a bullfrog and a green frog. To distinguish between these two frogs, we have to look once again at the skull. But this time, it's not the back or any particular bone. Instead, it's the shape of the snout. Here's what I'm talking about. If you look at the left, you have a bullfrog. Here, the snout is kind of a little bit more rounded. On the right, you have a green frog. That snout is much more pointed. Remember this difference? Now let's compare it to ours. Here's our skull. What do you think? Is this a little bit more rounded or pointed? Hmm. I'm going to switch and give us a nice little close-up so we can compare it a little bit more. This is a little bit tricky. I think if you were to ask me, this skull is a little bit more rounded than it is pointed, which would mean that this is an American bullfrog, Lithobates catispinus. That's our best guess. Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree? Disagree? Let me know below.